Tonight, a new legal frontier in the fight to take action against the homeless. Sacramento's disabled community says camps on sidewalks violate the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Sacramento with the new lawsuit against the city and the county. Steve. Well, no question. This is one of the biggest issues Sacramento is facing right now, and this new federal lawsuit is now a big twist in this homeless crisis. And I had the opportunity to talk to one of the plaintiffs tonight. Chester McNabb uses a motorized scooter to get around Sacramento with his dog Bella on board. Oh, she's my love. She's the best girl. McNabb is now suing the city and county as part of a class action lawsuit for violating the Americans with Disabilities Act by allowing so many homeless on sidewalks, compromising his access and safety. I just don't want to find myself uh, in a other parable situation. The lawsuit reads in part defendant cities and defendant counties administrative methods, policies and procedures or lack thereof discriminate against persons with disabilities. They, they need to be tougher. They need to be better. They need to be um, uh, more uh, understanding. These are photos included in the lawsuit of McNabb unable to get by homeless encampments spread across the Sacramento sidewalk. From a point of view of public policy discussion and political strategy, uh, who the, the filing of this suit is absolutely brilliant. Jeff Kravitz is a Sacramento attorney not connected to the lawsuit. The city and county have each created rules limiting homeless encampments on sidewalks in the past year. The problems persist. It'll be quite fascinating to see how this works out. It's a very interesting angle, but it shows, you know, the general public frustration that there is with the problem that is seemingly endless. I think it's really dangerous. Forcing action in the fight against homelessness. Will a federal ADA lawsuit create the change? And I should point out that McNabb himself was homeless for 30 years, so he certainly has empathy for people who are experiencing homelessness right now. I did reach out to the city and the county. They declined my request for a comment, but they will have to respond in federal court to this complaint uh, in the next 21 days.